What's going on guys? I got an RC 6000 series reach truck. This is a crown. Um, I've been having an issue with this thing leaking oil out of the main lift cylinder and we've been having issues with this. I noticed that the cap on it was actually cracked and I went to replace it because I have one that's very, um, I think it's still in good shape, uh, at least for the time being, so we can order another one in. But I read in the book on how to take this uh, cylinder apart without removing it. And I couldn't find any videos on YouTube or the internet anywhere describing to you how to do this. Um, so I'm gonna make a quick video. If you go into the book, it's page 624, it gives you a, a good explanation on how to do this. However, one of the steps was to remove the yoke. It says that there's a screw in it. Uh, I did not come across any screw, but here's the yoke. And as you can see, I actually went one step too far. I removed the uh, rollers for the chain and for the hoses. Uh, you do not have to do this. Um, all you gotta do is put a strap through your yoke up to your chain hoist, another forklift or something, lift up. This is after you block the, what is this, the first stage, the forks itself. If you block that, slack the chains, wrap up the yoke, lift up a little bit. Um, mine was pretty seized on the cylinder itself or the ram. Uh, so instead of taking a hammer to it, I just took my old trusty air hammer with a longer uh, punch and I hit it from both corners, this corner and this corner, because you can only rotate this so much. Uh, just put it right up here and knocked it out and it came right off. And as you can see, there's some pitting and some rust. So I might put some never seize on there. Uh, there is no screw holding this yoke on there. That's what confused the heck out of me. I didn't want to start beating on it and break something if it was still fastened in there. Uh, the reason I took those uh, pulleys out was because I saw these threads. I didn't know if there's like a screw or if this was a nut or a washer holding down. Uh, it's not. From my understanding, these threads are so you can thread a bolt or some kind of uh, tackle in there and lift this out because uh, I'm in the book it says that you can remove the ram and redo the packing which helps a lot because you don't have to remove the whole cylinder uh, which I did the research on that I didn't find any videos on that either or the greatest explanation in the book on how to remove it but I know you have to undo all your hoses and this is better blocked up at a different position um, so I got it blocked up got that cap off and I want to show you what it looked like I'd never seen one break like this before but here's the one I removed and this is the exact piece that I found sitting right there. So with this removed, this seal was just gushing out. Uh, and then I had another uh, lift cylinder that I had removed from another ride a while back. Um, this one's actually, I'm hoping that you can see all the scratches on the Ram. I'm hoping that this seal isn't too destroyed. Like I said, I just wanted to hold over for a little while as I order a new one to keep this ride running. Um, but overall, I'm gonna keep clean this thing up good, uh, run it back in. But um, yeah, so I just wanna to explain to you guys how I did that. This is like a 44 and a half inch block here. It's just a two by four, make sure you block it correctly. Um, slack your chains knock off the yoke, lift it up. And also while I did that, if you come back here to your PVM valve, it's this little dial right here. And this relieves all hydraulic pressure on your reach. So I just lowered that down. Uh, this is where it stopped at for me. I'm assuming it'll, they'll all stop right there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that cap back on, thread it down and then see if I can just reassemble everything as is. Uh, I could probably turn the reach back on after I have this cap on and just run the cylinder up until it meets this yoke and then seat that back down. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave some comments. Uh, if there's an easier way to do this or a different height that you block this at, feel free to let me know. I'd be very grateful for that information. But uh, thanks for watching.